Okay, welcome back. It's time to talk about opening a paper.ly account. And that is the uh, URL, the internet address of this service, which takes your Twitter feeds and makes sense out of them. It can take this service that is highly misunderstood, that being Twitter, where everything is 140 characters or less and people are messaging each other by the million, and actually turn it into a broadsheet newspaper. So let me start further back in the scratch and say, well, what is Twitter? You know, it is a social networking service that it's stripped down, and the messages that come across right now are very, very small, and you're seeing no extra features on allowing attachments, photographs, movies, things like that. All you had to do was open a Twitter account, free and easy, and follow your instructor. So uh, many of you have already gotten on that. And I have here a list of who's following. You're making it very easy for me to give you the full grade on that. And then I need you to follow some people. And your list of who you're following will be completely different from mine. So I'm following some people where I can at least in every other case have people that are printing things. I should, I guess it's an antiquated term. But that are publishing things on the internet. And you'll see that by these abbreviated or tiny URL links. So I can read this particular tweet that just came seconds ago, a little more expanded onto the right, or I can actually go there, and you'll notice here I'm, both things I'm following are talking about each other. So whether it's this ProPublica service or the Washington Post, and I thought I was clicking the other, it's going to open the page. Hence, this can get slow. I don't d dissuade you from following websites that are put out by professional journalists like this in the Washington Post. I will tell you that this can be a lot of work and that is why the people aren't sticking with this and why the papers are yet to really impress us with delivering this to us so that we can save time and read what we want to read, see what we want to see. That can be happening over here on Paper Lee. So instead of lots and lots of tweets, there are tools out there that claim they'll make sense of the internet, like Hootsuite, and here's over here is my Twitter feed, and here is supposed to be our Ning site, and about half the time it works, and about half the time you see what's on your screen right now. Not working. I never have that trouble with Paper Lee. The easiest way to get there is either type that in, P-A-P-E-R, li or go to the front page of com 101 ning go over here to the right hand column click on that graphic that says there's a paper there and it's been there all semester make some sense out of it let me get rid of one of these and you create a paper so when you come up here you can say you're going to create a paper i can create more than one paper based on and specialize what I'm following on Twitter. As long as these people have some content, see, I will get videos, I will get internet documents. Down here, we have a New York Times video. Still, that's a little bit of work. So I like it when it just comes on the page for you, and you're more likely to read it, you're more likely to use the research that it's doing for you than waiting for this, like we are here. Many times the video will just play right there in your page, and that is much more uh, efficient and good use of your time. You know, she said she needed a break, a little time to... On my computer tonight, so maybe some of you have this every night, so that this is a realistic appraisal, but you can create your own paper. Uh, you can create a paperly account with your Twitter account. So that's also going to be very easy. In this case, I've already created an account, and now I can create another paper. And so I will give it a title, as you see right up here, and then select some things. If you've got at least a dozen other things you're following, and at least if eight or so of those things, though I'd recommend twice that, are printing, again, publishing, people that are actually putting something up on the internet that is of value, whether it's news, entertainment, 
if you follow you and the people you follow, you'll get a paper. If you, in the, in the Twitter hashtag, you mention some subjects. If I were taking chemistry, I would have hashtag chemistry there and let this thing do free research for me all over the internet. If I were taking history, I would do the same thing. Then you aren't even limited to just who you're following. But you can have both. You could have some Twitter hashtags, and you could say, I could say I'm following communication. And I could also say, me and the people I follow, and here's who I am on Twitter. And I may have, I may be looking for, on Facebook, I may want to know about the BSU Broncos. And it, it's going to take it. It's still, still demanding a headline. As you see, so you don't have a lot of work to do when you are done with that. You want to publish and within minutes, you have a very simplified version of what you're looking at on my paperly. And overnight, it will start reaching in and looking for all those. Remember I was talking about tiny URLs that kind of alienate you to Twitter. You don't really always want to be following all this, and this is like extra work. Instead... Every one of these places where it said there's a lot more to this story and it's right here or it's at this other person tweeting it or giving them credit, all that will come up on your personal paper which you can title 